Hello and welcome back to Saber Outdoors. My name of course is Mark Alexander, your wonderful host. And today we have been on a field trip. We're out in western Kentucky at Land Between the Lakes. We're about to go through the elk and bison prairie at Land Between the Lakes. Now this is a 700 acre enclosure where they keep elk and bison. And the reason we're doing this right now is right now, now it's the middle of the rut. Now, children, if you don't know what the rut is, ask your parents. Parents, the rut, rut's whenever they're making little, small elk and bison. So things might be interesting here. I hope the elk are bugling. I hope that the bison are out and about and available, but I don't know what there is going to be. You know, you never know until you actually get inside. Um, now I'm not by myself. I do have a friend with, with me. So if you hear somebody else talking, it's not me being a master puppeteer. It's uh, my friend friend doing friend things but uh guys we're gonna quit talking we're gonna go go to rolling this is a drive-through thing so i probably won't get out of my vehicle unless something cool is happening then i'm totally gonna get out of my vehicle and go look at stuff and if i end up on six o'clock news you'll know about this video a lot sooner so uh that's gonna be fun but we're gonna get get in the vehicle we're gonna go do a drive-through you can see we've got signs Got more signs. We're kind of we're kind of waiting right now now to get in because uh, this is a reasonably popular place to be. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars in front of us, I believe. So uh, it might take us a minute to get inside. That's okay because uh, I mean, if it was boring, nobody'd be here. So there must be something neat going on. I don't know if maybe the elk are really doing things or not, but I've got you on selfie stick, so uh, this should be reasonably normal. Now, there is a warning sign right here, if my friend will film that for me momentarily. So you must have a car or a truck or an SUV you cannot do this in say on a motorcycle or something that's open because uh any way that the bison or elk can get to you is not a good thing and uh let me tell you sometimes they do get really close because this is not my first time to go through this but uh we're getting up kind of close to give the nice lady our money because it looks like they're actually taking money this time she might come up and talk to us. If she do does, I will uh, discuss with her the facts of things. Hello, ma'am. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm just uh, filming away. If you don't mind being filmed, I'll just a ask what's happening, what's going on. <laughs> do you mind being filmed? Um, I, I guess. Cool. But uh, what's ha happening today? Is there anything shaking at all? Um, I've seen a couple of elk today and the bison were out earlier, so hopefully we'll get to see something. I, I hope so, <laughs> but thank you for your time. See, that was a very nice la lady. She's a volunteer here, but uh, I've got my handy da dandy uh, Abe Lincoln right here. Not a penny, but a five. But uh, it's an automated entrance here, so nobody's actually taking the money money i thought for a moment they were but uh she's just a nice volunteer making sure people aren't being stupid because if people can be stupid usually they are but uh ah here we are another sign worth looking at no sign no bikes, no motor-driven sickles, no pedestrians, no livestock. Now, the livestock thing is not for, like, cows. It's for horses because not very far away is Wrangler's Camp. And it is within riding di distance of Wrangler's Camp. So uh, we need to be respectful. Also, if you mix a cow and a buffalo together, you get what's known as a beefalo. And uh, there are quite a number of people that feel very strongly in various different ways about that. But uh, we're very, we're next in line to put our money in. And uh, when we get there, uh, we'll show you that. All right, guys, we've got our little 
money taking machine here. You may scan it now. Otherwise, insert payment. Hey, I'm about to insert something into you. It's going to be five whole big fat dollars. Hey, you took that from me like my Thank last you for girlfriend. Your purchase. Thank you. Press button if you would like a receipt and drive ahead to exit. My friend's doing a quiet laugh. He's desperately trying not to just do a big fat belly laugh. I think he should. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be wholehearted. I'm gonna try my best to make him break because uh, I think it's funny when he does. So when you get into the place, you actually come up to, and I'm gonna wait for this vehicle to get ahead of us. You come up here to this gate. Now you wait for the gate to open, of course. And then you come across a grid. Now the grid, the grid keeps the buffalo and bison, buffalo and bison, they're the same thing. Buffalo and uh, elk inside because it's such a way that they can't walk across it. But uh, at this point now, we're just gonna be cruising, looking through the woods, through the hills, through the hollers. And we're gonna be listening too, to see if we can maybe hear an elk doing elk things. You know, you'll hear him go, that was awful, but I'm gonna probably put it in the video. But uh, we're just easing along. The nice thing about this is there's not a limit to how many times you can go around it. This is actually just one big circle. So if you are like, wow, that was really neat. I want to go do that again. You can just go around twice. You don't have to go around just the one time. Now, there are places to pull off if you want to, you know, get out and change baby's diaper or get out and get in the back of a truck, which, by the way, was the first plan for this video. But uh, I decided that it was not a great idea, and I didn't know whether they would let me do it. Um, but we're looking around, seeing if we see any buffalo or uh or any elk oh first elk spotted over there there guys i'm gonna try and get as close as i can to them but uh you know gopro is not exactly known for being a great long range camera so this footage may not be the best but there's our first elk looks to be a cow look how tall the grass is There she is, just over there living her best life. Now, of course, this is nothing like what real elk are like. Real elk, elk would have darted from us. I'm looking for more if there's any around. We're still looking, see if we see any elk. Any more elk, that is. And uh, bison. So far, we've just seen the one elk. I'm kind of counting on some banter, but uh, my, my person of interest over here has not been reciprocating my advances of wanting conversation. I don't know why. I'm trying desperately to make him laugh, and he's just, he's not not breaking just yet, but I, I'll work on him. Don't wor worry. If I have to, I'll make the whole vi video of me just doing silly stuff to try and make him laugh. It'll be like the old days, only, you know, on television. Ah, I got a little cough out of him. Let's pull off to one side. Luckily, we're in a four-wheel drive vehicle, so if it gets real bad, we can take off after. Okay, guys, so there's a little plaque off to one side, so we're going to get out and go look at that real quick. Like, I'm not even going to turn the vehicle off. Hopefully, David doesn't steal it on me. So right now there's not, you know, there's no, there's no elk, there's no bison around. So I'm good to go get out and look around a little bit. Oh, it talks. Neat. Okay, so this is like plants on the prairie. So native grasses, native peoples. Now, 
I guess if you scan the QR co codes, you can learn more. And it looks like once upon a time this spoke to you, but I don't think it does any longer. At least I don't know how to make it work. If you know how to make it work, put it down in the comments. But guys, we're going to get back in, in the vehicle before, uh, before I get run over by something. Whether that be a tourist or a charging bison. All right, guys, there's a huge line of cars. So there must be something worth looking at down here. My cohort says there's elk down yonder. But I guess everybody's decided they're going to block the road. Well, guys, it seems like we're going to be here for a minute. So uh, I'm going to cut the camera off until we get down to where we can actually see something worth looking at. Guys, we've been here for a while. This is how much the line has moved. So I guess we're going to move down with it. Guys, this is tourism. If this is the kind of thing that provokes your road ra rage, sorry. You know, I, I can't can't uh, say that I blame these people. Some of them have barely seen cattle. So actual living, breathing elk within, you know, arm's length, some of them. That might be be something these people have never seen may never see again so i don't blame these people for getting excited and wanting to see because uh i'm excited and i also want to see here look at my excited face <laughs> really exci excited and i want to see because that's why i came down here oh my friend just barely spotted one. Oh, and it's a bull that's cool he's just there doing bull things but that's like a thousand pound animal that just like appeared out of nowhere I hope you all can see him good. I hope you all can see him a little bit down there but we're gonna get out of the way so that other people can see there he is a little bit clearer but the sun is in my way he's a young bull looks like probably one of last year's but guys there he is in all his glory well guys uh, I'm sure you all can't see that coyote at all on this camera so uh, he's on the road so guys we're just we got this coyote that's just kind of hanging out. I don't know exactly what he's doing. I'm hoping that the, these tourists don't fall out of this vehicle and get eaten up by the coyote. Yeah, he's just hanging out. You guys. This is a small, looks like a young coyote. We're slowly pulling up on him, and he's eating trash. That's not a very good thing to be doing. Guys, if you are in one of these parks, do not throw your trash away. Do not feed these an animals. It is a death sentence for them. It is literally going to end up being the death of this poor little coyote. And he's actually running off into the ditch. I'm hopeful I will still get a reasonably good photo or video of him family in front of me is still looking so I imagine he's where you can see him. Sorry about the light guys. I can't I can't change where the sun's at. Yeah there he is. He's just living his best life. He's a really blonde coyote though. My friend informs me that he may be a cross between a fox and a coyote, which is not impossible, although unprobable, but guys with him eating trash it's a death sentence he is eventually going to be shot by somebody because he's going to get too friendly with somebody and they're going to say "Ooh, look oh cool we got more animable bulls we got us a flock of turkeys let's uh of course you all can't see those very well i've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turkeys. All of them just living their best turkey life. Guys, we've got another one of these little uh, sign things. I'm going to get out and go look at it right quick. 
see what it is might be something might be nothing i don't know but uh we're gonna see we're gonna get out find out whether it's anything at all or if it's just junk So this is if you've ever wondered why you can't sell wild game that is why because we nearly killed all buffalo everywhere the audience though American bush too. yeah greedy all the time Look at the people in Washington, D.C. that are multimillionaires and keep staying up there to earn more money with inside trader stuff, information. That ought to be against the law. It is against the law, they just don't get nailed. Yeah. Well, guys, some of the interesting people that you meet doing this kind of stuff. So, we've got ourselves another cow. We're just gonna ease by, by just real slow like. My friend says that he believes it's the same one we saw a while ago, but there's no telling because there's a bunch in here. But this is definitely the nearest, best one that we've seen. Hmm. But guys, this is definitely our best look at one of these. And, you know, she's just doing elk things, enjoying being an elk. She's not making no problem, not being a problem. We're just uh, enjoying seeing her. She's enjoying being an elk. But, uh, guys, we're going to leave her to do elk things because she's doing just what she should be doing. What's going on, sweetie? You go do elk things. I'm going to go, go do YouTuber things, which usually means something crazy. Well, that was a really nice experience. But we'll move on so that others can see her as well. I think we're coming around to our turnaround spot. And, uh, you know... I'm going to consult with my co-driver to see what he's feeling. Is he feeling... Alright, he's fe feeling some food, and uh, I'm feeling very much the same. Unfortunately, this video didn't include a bison. Sorry, guys. That's why they call, call it uh, sightseeing, not, well, anything else. I normally would say that's why I call it fishing, not catching, but uh, guys, there's not really... What, what would you call it? I guess this is driving, not sightseeing. Yeah, that, that would probably be the closest thing. This is driving, not sightseeing. And also TikTok's playing. So, uh, guys, we're going to get out, out of here. I'm going to keep filming on the odd chance maybe there's something happens before we hit the gate. But uh, if nothing happens until we get to the gate, all I'm going to do is say thank you very much for watching. You have a great rest of your day. We'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water.